I'm Steve, and this is CC Garage. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Well, today we're going to go a little bit lower than this. So, uh, this right now is with the airbags all aired out, and I'm going to show you. So, big shout out to Twisted Images. They sent me these cups. We are going to cup the lower control arms today. So, it shouldn't be too bad to get the lowers off. I mean, we're gonna use the airbags, jack the truck up so I can actually get the jack under it because, you know, low life problems. But, should just be the two U bolts on each uh, control arm and then the lower ball joint and the tie rod and should be able to drop it. Actually, I don't even think tie rod's gotta come off. I guess we'll see when we get there, so. Uh, we'll be right back. And by right back, I mean, we're gonna measure and see how much clearance we actually have right now because I know we're not gonna have that much in a little bit. So right now, just under six inches. So remember, I don't know, five and three quarter inches when uh, when we get this all done. So we are gonna start off by giving this to the camera guy. Make sure it points. We're gonna go ahead and take our lug nuts off. Or loosen them up anyways. Okay, other side. Look at my so gas bike I want. And point pin heavy. And what do you think of the last shot? Okay, now we gotta jack the front up. And then this be super dad bike goes super dad. So we jack it up with the bottle. Then And look at her head white. So huge and big. Look at her whole fuck. Look at her whole fuck. The fuck is so big that I go under it. Right, Dada? Yup. And you put this button door. That stops it and starts it. So we're gonna go ahead, take this tire off real quick. Not the best camera guy. Ha ha ha! So dummy. So what we need to do is take our big castle nut off right here for the lower ball joint. And then our strap on both sides. I think that was a 9 16 or something. But that'll drop this control arm. We can figure out where we need to cut. And weld in our cups. So let me go find a socket real quick and we will be back. So this big nut is a 24 mil. So should be able to just lift up on the hub or pound down on that a little bit. Well, actually they're not back on there a little bit so we don't mess up any threads so we got the jack supporting the disc right now we're gonna go ahead and tap on that ball joint and hopefully that'll let that go pop so now we need to do the four bolts for the u-bolts and that'll drop uh let's see if we can let down on Jack. Yep. Cool. Okay, so we popped our U-bolts off on both sides. We got the Jack supporting it right now. We're gonna let this down and it should drop. Come on. Oh. 
the spring pot. Dad, let's do well. There we go. So this is where the fun starts. All right, Bentley? Why? Right, not really. So what we gotta do now is this. Is take these fancy cups we bought, cut a hole right here, and put them in like that. And you you'll get twenty dollars. So cars. let's get our grinder and stuff, you, you'll get which is over cars. here. You, I'm just gonna use a forty grit uh, cut off wheel. So what we need to do now with the drop pocket is. This needs to be centered over top of where this is. So we're just gonna pretty much eyeball it. Okay. Got our paint marker here. I'm just gonna make a dot. Just to kind of see. To me, that looks good. Sorry for the view, guys. Like a dot over here. Let's see if that's pretty much. It looks good to me. So, paint marker don't really work the best. pretty decent outline. So we're gonna go ahead and use our 40 grit and just we're gonna go on the inside of this. That way we can work our way out because you definitely don't wanna cut this out too big and then there's that much weld you gotta fill in. So I don't wanna bore you guys with doing all this cutting. Well, I'll probably go grab my head mount. That's probably what I'll do. And I'll just show little bits and pieces because nobody wants to watch 20 minutes of grinding. the edges so that way this fits in there now to decide what side we're actually going to trim on or work at Well, we got our cup in place. We got it cleaned up around the edges. We're gonna go ahead. We got our ground clamp on here. Time to make it one piece. So that one is pretty much done. I know my cheap welder isn't that great. So what I ended up doing was I took the torch and I heated up like a section like that big, got it pretty warm. And then I went over and I welded it. That way the metal's already warm. So it's a little bit, gives it better penetration. And then I went around on the back and I ran some more welds, but 
I think that should be good enough with being welded all the way around. I think tomorrow I am going to buy a better welder, but still gonna get this side, well, most of the way cleaned up. We're gonna spray this black and then put this one back on, take that one off, cut the pocket out so we can get the new one ready and hopefully weld that up tomorrow. So we got one coat of paint on there right now. Looks pretty good. So, me and my little helper here, we're gonna go take the pocket off the rest of that bolt-on kit. Enjoying this beautiful weather before it gets dark here pretty soon. Gotta remember what size it is on the bottom of the bag. So, it's 14. On the control arm, I'm guessing the easiest way to do is gonna be to lift the control arm up, bolt it to the bag, and then bolt it to the frame. That's what I'm gonna try because I don't think it'd be very easy to bolt it to the frame and then try to finagle it to get that bolt hole to line up. When these are only gonna go in one way. I'm not worried about cross-threading these as long as they go in. So let's let that paint dry and we will be back. So we got a jack under the back piece and we're gonna try to pivot this up and put our bolt in. Along with our knuckle and everything else in the way. Awesome. Hmm. or nut on here just to make this all one piece and I think since we have two jacks we'll have one back there one over here jack it all up So we got the nuts on our U-bolts, but we're not gonna tighten them down until we actually drop the truck because I know the crossbar that goes across the lower control arm, that only moves so much. So I wanna make sure that that's not gonna bind up when I actually drop this all the way down. But we are going to tighten up those bottom bolts on the, bear, on the airbag. So one side done, time to go take the other side off. Pretty good. marker didn't really work the best so uh let's try something else let's 
see how that does. Perfect. I mean, the cup needs to slide this way slightly. Respray. That is where it's gonna go. You want the cup as close to center as possible from the factory spring. So we are going to change the wheel on our grinder, cut this out like we did the other side, and then I will show you. So we got a little bit of a mess, but uh, number two is cupped. Go ahead just like the other side and put the ball joint on the lower control arm. Tighten these up and then we will tighten up the airbag and tighten up the lower ball joint put the wheel on and then we'll see how low this thing really sits Stay tuned. wheels on time to let the jack down Good thing we got bags. We ain't getting the jack out without them. But we gotta charge the system. Need to charge the battery too. Okay, so we threw the Threw the battery charger on there. We got our jack out. The one thing I did not look or think about though is, uh, um, yeah. Okay, it's not touching on the side, but she looks super, super close over there. Yeah, she's sitting right on the fender, or in her, the inner brace. So, that's got to go. Still can't see too good, but uh, that's what she's sitting on. And that side, she's not. So... More projects, always gonna have problems when you're modified, I guess. But, yeah, she looks good. So if you made it this far into the episode, thank you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And hopefully this helped you out. See you in the next one.